Hi everyone. I'm back down at Centennial Park here to do another short video on a pond boat. Uh, I've chosen a different vista today. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's a beautiful day out here but it's rather windy so it's probably going to make it a little bit difficult to show this boat. Anyway, I've set up under this tree here and hopefully this will shield me from most of the gusts and we can have a quick look at this. This is a, a 12 inch cedar skiff of the dugout type. It's probably pretty standard uh, hull however it's probably of the shape that most people think of when they think of uh, one of these boats and it's probably the most sought after shape. Personally I, I'm a bit of a slut, I like all boats so um, I, I can find uh, some redeeming feature in any boat I think. Anyway, uh, when I got this one a few years ago it was all pulled apart ready to be ripped, stripped and dipped and luckily I've been able to save it from that fate. Um, these sails are, are new, it didn't have its uh, rigging, its keel or its rudder. These hulls generally don't, they're generally lost. You're lucky to get a hull, never mind anything else. And you're also lucky to get a hull in original condition because according to Dennis McGugan and the other old guys, these boats were generally refinished every year to get them ready for the next season of racing. So these old ones were, we're finding with this finish of just the ones I'd say that have been um, stuck away after the uh, sport finished up in the 50s and they've uh, managed to get this patina. A lot of the times they'll have rather rough uh, finishes, they've been in a shed and a lot of heat for a while. Anyway I've just been messing around finishing this hull and uh, I've made the uh, rudder here. As you can see the short trip over in the heat of the car has made it bubble. Uh, shellac doesn't seem to like uh, excessive heat when it's you know a few days old anyway I'll fix that up when I color match it to the actual hull this is a keel here that I make I've got standard keels I make for two footers and for 12 inch boats in fact I think I've got molds for all of them I've made them for pretty much any shape so if anyone wants one let us know these are this is the bracket here that I get Alan to make and it sort of shows it in a bit more detail it shows how it fits to the actual hull I have I get them made up for all of my boats Alan makes me these ones that are um, need machining in that and any that just need welding and shaping I make myself Alan's got all sorts of machines that he can do this sort of stuff on I, I wouldn't even know how to use them anyway I figure that pretty much shows this hull in as much details as is required it's such a beautiful day I might stay down here and um, have lunch with the pelican I suppose he seems to be having a good time I'll see you later.